and you can see the Missouri River there, the light reflecting off the water. That is awesome. Temperature this morning, step outside in Omaha, 66 degrees, still fairly comfortable. Dew points in the low 60s with a light southeast breeze. Mainly mid 60s, Nebraska side of the river, upper 50s to mid 60s in Iowa right now, Atlantic. A cool 57. That feels nice. Dew points for the most part in the upper 50s, a few spots in the low 60s, but we're going to see those dew points start to creep up today. You're going to feel the air a little bit more. It's going to be a bit more muggy. Muggy meter today at sticky. So uh, it's going to feel a little bit hotter than the air temperature, especially as we get into the peak heating hours, 3, 4, 5, 6 o'clock. So by lunchtime today, it will already be in the low to mid 80s, and then we'll see the temperatures get back in the 90s. But again, once you factor in that humidity, it'll feel more like the mid 90s. So maybe if you're going to be spending uh, some time outside this afternoon, you may just want to take a few breaks, find some shade. Mainly sunny right now. You got clouds off to our south. Any showers out in the panhandle of Nebraska. So sunshine going to be a plenty again today. Your storm predictor walking us through lunch hour in the 80s again into the low 90s later this afternoon. Fairly quiet overnight tonight. Just a few clouds. Another mild start Thursday, but a stronger south breeze can help boost those temperatures throughout the day. Mid to upper 80s by the lunch hour and then for Thursday we'll likely see those highs in the mid 90s and then into the evening, especially the overnight hours, we'll see our storm chances start to go up. Chance for some scattered showers and storms will drift through Nebraska and into Iowa and it's really after dark. We'll see our best chances and maybe one or two of them could be on the stronger side, producing some uh, isolated strong wind gusts, maybe a little bit of hail really north of Omaha. As you can see, a marginal risk for severe weather Thursday night, so not anticipating anything widespread. But with any storms, we could see at least some brief heavy rainfall and we'll take whatever we can get. It's not going to be widespread, as I mentioned, but uh, if we don't get any rain out of this, we're looking very dry through the next week and possibly the next two weeks because we're going to see the heat build in and uh, storm chances. Well, fairly minimal. So Thursday night into Friday morning, that's our best chance for any rain, but the humidity going to increase a little bit more. So it feels like temperatures likely in the triple digits by Friday afternoon. A little weak front will bring a little relief through the weekend, but we're still going to say hot in the 90s and then that high heat going to make its return early next week as well. You see by Tuesday, we'll see those highs back in the mid to upper 90s.